Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a formula in Excel. I have a spreadsheet set up here and it's just an imaginary list of, of employees and each one had a certain pay rate in year one and the, the next column, column C, shows the number of weeks they worked in, in year one. And over on the right here we have the total pay. And the total pay, if you, if you look, it says, um, if you look in the formula bar up here on where my cursor is on the top left, it's um, B2 times C2. So the pay for year one is the pay rate in dollars per week times the number of weeks worked in, um, in year one. And so the first employee, 400 hours times 35 weeks is 14,000. And then the, the same formula is just copied down to all the other cells. Now, let's say we, um, we have, uh, now we have the new year and we have a new pay rate. So let's just say everybody got a, uh, a, 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 you know, a raise of, of, of $50 a week. So I'm, I'm, I'm very generous. So we just, we, um, we're just going to add a formula here. Each one is $50 higher. And just to make it easy, let's just say, let's just say everybody worked the same uh, number of weeks in year two, it's just to save time. So I'm going to copy that range of cells, and I'm going to copy it over here to column E. Okay. So now we have the full table populated, but we want to make the total pay be the total amount uh, earned in year one plus year two. So let's go into the formula, and w up here in the formula bar we have. B2 times C2, and we want to add the, uh, the same formula for year two. So it's B2 times C2, that's the pay they earned in year one, and we click the cursor in the formula bar, and we go plus, and then we could enter in D2 times E2, but the easier way to do it is to just go in and click on the cell that we want to enter in the formula. So we click on cell D2 and you can see it enters in D2 and then times and then we just go over and we click on cell E2 and it sure enough puts that in the formula bar just where we want it and then we hit a return and we scroll back out so we can see it and now we see the formula has um, B2 times C2 plus D2 times E2. So now we have the total amount that the first employee made in both years and now we do this little trick where we, we, we click on the cell and we want to copy that formula down to all the other cells. So we click on that cell and we move the cursor to the bottom right of the cell until it changes to a solid plus sign. And we click and we drag down and everything is all updated. So if you look, look at the formula bar up here, you can see as we go down through the, through the, um, through the rows, um, the, the formula has been updated for, for all the employees. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to edit a formula in Excel. Thank you for watching.